wonder like what's in this truck? There's so many trucks. What's in you? What you got going on, huh? Freaking on to you guys. Today's a little rough, I won't lie. Wearing the same clothes as yesterday, don't judge me. Stomach really freaking hurts. I know I keep complaining about my, I'm gonna get my period soon, that's one thing, but I feel like just the sleep schedule has effort my stomach. The keto being on set, not being able to have access to all my keto foods all the time. It's English, it's early. Has upset my stomach. I don't know. Girl doesn't feel hunted today. The uterus is banging. Today's the last day of shooting this week, but tomorrow I have a full day of shooting press. I'm a little like this right now, cause I don't, I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna get through the day, we're gonna do it. Let's pump ourselves up, feel the breeze, face. Here we go, you gotta do it. You get to sleep on Sunday. You get to sleep on Sunday. You get to sleep on Sunday. You can do whatever the F you want on Sunday. Anybody but you listen to me. Yo, you tree right there, mother and listen to me. Bother me on Sunday? Freaking cut your leaves off. No one bothered me on Sunday. On Sunday? Before to a vlog, literally that's gonna look like this. That's literally what the vlog's gonna look like. Don't, don't even come for me. It's fine. My, my, you know what? My period just needs to friggin' start and stop this friggin' nonsense. Oh, God. Let's see through one step. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. There's a chance you might be wondering this, because I know if I was you, I would be wondering this. I'd be wondering, I've been working on the show so goddamn long. Why don't you have Ish figured out? I'm telling you right now, today in the schedule, we have holes in the schedule. We don't know what we're shooting for certain parts of the schedule today. And if I was you, I'd be sitting there like, What y'all doing? How do you not know what you're shooting? You've been writing for so long. Let me, let me explain to you. So, and I like this, because I can show you some of the hurdles that you might not otherwise see. Uterus, stop. Just stop. So we did have some concepts for this week that we were working on, spent time making jokes for, etc. And then COVID protocols shut that down so we had two concepts which kind of disappear because changes in covid protocol or they're not deemed safe okay hello bye totally understandable but things like that really set us back it, oh my god friggin I, sir why are you trying to hit me now on top of that if we want to shoot anything with extras the covidness of that is just impossible to deal with because for extras to come on set they have to get tested at the NBC lot which is not our set it's like 30 40 minutes away from the set and then on top of that that's money to get them tested that we don't have time that we don't have that means we can't ever do a last-minute shoot with extras but if we want to turn me into different characters to replace the fact that we don't have extras that's also a lot of time because if I'm doing an interview I have to do Ms. Lily and if I have to be like other characters it's a hard jigsaw puzzle to figure out all this to say I swear before I got into late night, I didn't anticipate the scheduling and figuring things out would be this hard. And since I've been in it, there's just a million things I would have never thought are a thing that are definitely a thing and screw up the schedule. Like our schedule has changed 500 times for this week, and it's just like impossible to prep for. And you just gotta freaking try your best. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, okay? Trying my freaking best. And my uterus is freaking. Ah! And I say this again, not to complain or compare myself to other late night shows. I, I'm not trying to complain, but I'm trying to give you context because I feel like you may be more familiar with Jimmy's shows and Seth's shows and et cetera like that. So they shoot them like two times. So Jimmy shoots for many more months and he goes and he says, today we're shooting this episode from beginning to end and it's live and that's what we're shooting. We can't do that with our budget because shoot days cost X amount of money. Let's say a shoot day costs $100. It doesn't, it doesn't cost $100, it costs like Thousands and thousands of dollars. But our budget only allows X amount of shoot days, so we can't take 80 days to shoot 80 episodes, which is the episode order. We can't do that. We have to shoot 80 episodes in like 40 something days, which means I can't go in and shoot one episode. It makes things really complicated with figuring out the jigsaw puzzle and like doing the whole thing. So that's a little bit of context about the reality of our budget and our world. I need to be in the left lane. If you're tripping, I'm completely hands free. You're on a tripod. Don't cancel me. I don't need you adding that to my plate. Don't even think about it, okay? I can't stop recording right now because I'm on the freeway so you shouldn't have to hear me ramble about something. So many trucks! So many trucks! Where are you all going? Wonder, like, what's in this truck? There's so many trucks. What's in you? What you got going on, huh? Freaking on to you guys. Also, no matter how many times I go somewhere, I always have to use the GPS. I know exactly where the set is. I know exactly how to get home. I will still use the GPS. It's just a comfort. It's a safety blanket. I like to know what the estimated time is. I like to know how far the exit is. It makes, sue me, sue me, okay? Ventura, left four lanes, guard. Another truck, interesting. Black one this time, unmarked. What's your deal, bro? What's your deal, huh? I'm debating not wearing Spanx today, just because my stomach hurts. I feel like I'll regret not wearing Spanx. Spanx, Spanx. I don't know why, it's like a placebo thing. It helps me shoot. It makes everything nice and tight. I don't know, sue me, sue me. I haven't decided, what? What, is Spanx God's gonna come down? They're gonna freaking slap me? Do that every day anyways. My goddamn hoo-ha. Frig, put you in this truck right now in front of me. I think I'm losing my mind. All I know is that I'm 
um, I'm trying my best and it's gonna be great. I do feel really great about a lot of the stuff we're shooting, by the way. I really do. I think it's funny. The interviews, we gotta figure out the tech of it. I think they could be great. They're not as enticing as in person, I feel, but I don't know. Now I'm in between two trucks, bro. What y'all got planned? Yeah, 11 minutes. Now I'm supposed to be there 9.30. GPS is 9.31. Sue me! The time god's gonna come down, slap me. You slap me every day anyways. When you say you went to bed at 2 and you have to wake up at 7. How dare you? How dare you threaten me? Now it says 9.32. Sue me! Okay. Okay. And then you know my YouTube brain for the rest of this commute. I'm like, what did I talk about so far? What could be the title? Just based on what I've done so far, these could be the trash titles for this vlog. It could be, I'm getting sued. It could be, I got slapped. See? This is how you clickbait, yo. Pull out your notebook. Let me teach you right now. Kidnapped by trucks. You paying attention? What's in the truck? Question mark on the thumbnail. Keep up, bro. You want a career? Free education right here. Okay, the light's not good anymore, so I'm gonna go. Bye. My tripod broke. Boke. <laughs> my tripod broke. Let's get together. We're on set now. People are counting on me. My tripod broke. Can we use it in a sentence? Broke. My tripod broke. Today my tripod broke. I keep saying broke. Broke! Effin broke! Today my tripod broke. 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 Like me. If I don't do well in the show. Broke. Slow start to the day, but it's happy. We just had an interview and the tech was perfect. Perfect! Fourth time to try. It was with Mary Holland from Happiest Season, so I actually don't know if I vlogged about this. I watched Happiest Season two weeks ago, maybe? And it was one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's with Kristen Stewart and Mackenzie Dave- uh, Mackenzie Davison? Davis? Mackenzie Davis? Not good with names. It's like a beautiful story. It's a queer Christmas movie, and I was like laughing and crying, and I became obsessed, and then so when they were like, oh, Mary on the show, I was like, yes, yes, yes! So I'm interviewing people that I like genuinely love, and it's freaking down! Barata on my lips. Something, you know, that's tough about shooting during this time. Like, I was texting with Kelly Clarkson, and she's like, yeah, we're just wrapping my show. I'm like, we just starting. During Christmas is that, it's, you can't get in the Christmas mood. Like I haven't decorated my house really. We wanted to get lights, I couldn't find lights, I gave up on that. Even like the people I'm gonna buy gifts for. It hasn't been like, a, oh my God, what should I give them? I wanna wrap them all cute. It's been very like, oh, what, I need to order these gifts right now. I don't have time, I'm using my lunch break. So that's the one thing about shooting near the holidays is like it's very hard to embrace the holiday spirit. But once we hit the 23rd, I'm gonna go full fledged into Christmas mode, like the most basic hope. Catch me on the sled. We shot some stuff, but today's a weird day because we have this lull where right now we're like, we don't we don't know what to shoot now because of the gaps in schedule. We're like, okay, I guess so. I'm just making executive decisions. I'm like, we're gonna do this now. Now we're gonna do this. And we're gonna figure it out. So how dope is this outfit? Check out this COVID hack because there's limited people that can be in the room. We have a monitor in the hair and makeup room so Renee and Ashley can be here and they don't have to go into the other rooms and they can just check the vibes, which by the way, low key, the set looks pretty, not the set, sorry, the house correction mm -hmm. looks great. Oh, I like your shirt, Poppy. Thank That's an OG you. classic right there with oh, the crystal you know. in the middle. How LA of you, look at that. Just the logo <laughs> with the crystal. Team Super LA right here, boom, boom, woo, pow. Woo. Boom, boom, pow. Also, everyone has mustaches on their masks now. Oh, it's up for you, Ashley. So Krista came and she handed out mustaches. Now everyone's got a mustache. Where's your mustache? It's under my mask. Oh, true. <laughs> I, I said the same thing. I said the same thing. I said, y'all trying to cosplay as me? Because you're a bunch of bullies. Because I think that's why they're doing it. All oh, right, we actually wrapped early. I just did my first evil. Okay, today has been a struggle for speaking. Not only with you, even on set. Like, my actual show that's going on TV, I couldn't speak. <clears throat> I couldn't speak English even once. So it's not just you! I did my first rant ever for TV. It was for an example episode that's never going to air, but it was my first time ever doing a rant, like, outside of my house, I guess, because... I'm not doing monologues. Here's the thing, I'm not doing monologues for season two, I'm doing rants. I'm doing my YouTube rants that are slightly elevated, which I'm very excited about. I'm definitely bringing my flavor to late night. Another thing happened that I thought was really cool is we were recording a bit, and after doing it once, I was like, is this good? And Taylor was like, mm. and I was like, I don't like it. And so I stopped it and I was like, this is how we're gonna do it instead. And I basically canceled that part of the shoot and said, I think this should happen on this day when we do this. And that's the, gonna be the difference between season one and season two. Is it gonna be perfect? Probably not. And probably not. But I think the biggest difference is I'm actually taking ownership to be like, I don't like that. We should do it like this. And I'm sticking to my guns about my vision. And like I said, in season one, I always couldn't do that because of schedule, because of all these reasons, me learning, but I'm doing that for season two and I'm really trying to make it so that it's me. It's freaking me. I feel like for this shoot so far, I've been so myself. I've truly been so myself. Anyone comes at me and says like, stop trying to be X, Y, Z, I will not even hear it because I'm being so weird and so authentically myself. Everything you're seeing in season two is me. Honestly, like how you'd see in the vlogs. This is a realization actually. If you like the vlogs, you'll love season two. Because we're capturing behind the scenes that will be weaved throughout the episode and it's me doing this. It's literally me doing this. It's gonna be a lot of me going, ah! It's gonna be a lot of that stuff me being the weird me, so that I know that no one can come to me and say it was fake or it wasn't me, it wasn't authentic, because it is. And also, it's just more fun this way. It's more fun to know, oh wow, you're right here. You listening to my whole sentimental moment? I needed you. No. Were you listening to my whole sentimental moment? Uh, 
Maybe. You were listening to my. Did you agree though? Uh, I heard something about being weird and authentic, and no one could say it was fake, and that sounds real to me. Just think if they like the vlogs, they'll love season two. Yes. 100 I mean, season two is just a modified vlog messed with the main channel. An elevated yeah. rant vlog. I think it's the happy marriage of the three things you've done. It's the blend of season one, mm -hmm. your main channel of sketches and everything you do best, and the vlog behind the scenes seeing what goes on in your daily life. I like your mustache. Why, thank you. What he said! Sweater off space! Oh, also I didn't even plug the... I just, I was, I just said plug in my Spanx. Can we just take them? I didn't tuck them in. I didn't clasp them properly, so I just have the local. Anyways, I am so tired. And tomorrow we're not shooting the show, but I still have to get up at 7:30 Cause we got a production meeting, and they never let me sleep. And this is my life. Sometimes it's trash. No, it's not trash. It's actually great. Crap like this is what I've been doing on set. This is what I've been doing on set. I'm gonna jump into my emails, eat some dinner. Tomorrow we are not shooting, but I got Condé now. Stuff. I gotta do press. I gotta do interviews for a whole bunch of other stuff. I guess press and interviews are the same thing, being redundant. Uh, but it's it's a, it's a whole work day. And then Saturday, Super Christmas party! And I'm so excited for it. I will see you there. You're gonna be there. If you got an email, by the way, that means you got in. The password's good only once. Share with your friends. You guys, none of you getting in. Only good for once, okay? If you can't come, let us know. Thousand people, you be there. Be, be there or be square. Bye!